Hey guys, the Rage here. So today we're gonna make a video. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to improve the uh, mic quality. So this is my mic with no processing, if you will, uh, nothing to improve it. So it's just a mic connect straight to the computer. So first thing you wanna do is Google it. And you can Google Battle Board to software download. Uh, first link over here from uh, Nayao Moody. You want to go here, I already have it here. So you want to go ahead and click download for either for Windows or Mac. You choose. So you, you will download this and you're going to install it. Uh, I recommend you install, you know, your C drive somewhere easily accessible. Once you install it, you're going to have two different versions. You're going to have a Pedalboard 2.exe and a Pedalboard 2 64 bit exe. I recommend you run the two because if you run 64 bit, you need 64 bit uh, VST plugins, I believe, because I was not able to load the VST plugins that I had when I, whenever I was running 64 bit. It just gives an error. But it says it failed to load. So we'll go ahead and run this. So the first thing you'll see is just the software loads. Uh, there's not much here at all, right? Let me just uh, put a white background there so you guys can see it. So there isn't much going on here. In order to add anything, you have to double click and then you pick your plugins. When you first install it, you're not going to have a lot of these plugins. You're just going to have a set of default ones. Audio recorder, file, level, looper, metrodome, output, and the view meter, uh, which is fine. So first thing you want to do is go into options. Actually, even before you do that, no, you can do this, it's fine. So you go into options, uh, audio settings. Over here, uh, you make sure you choose your microphone. So my microphone is right here. Uh, here are all my uh, inputs, and I choose my mic. And yours can be anything. So you pick your correct microphone. Don't worry about the output yet. We're gonna come back to this setting. Next thing you wanna do, is you want to go to this website right here, VB Audio Software, and you can Google search as well. You want to download this program. It's called the VB Cable uh, Virtual Audio Device, and uh, they used to call Hi-Fi. I think they changed the name. Hmm. One sec, talking too much. So you want to download your version from Windows or Mac, very self-explanatory. Uh, you do want to run this as an uh, admin though. So you want to make sure uh, once you download the executable and I have it here, uh, you want to right click and you're going to see here VB audio. You want to open this file, right? Once you extract this to a folder, you want to right click and uh, choose um, download as a uh, run as an admin. Very important. Otherwise, it will not install its drivers. It will fail to install. So you'll do that. Um, once you do that, you will see on your audio devices, you see here that you're going to have this cable input, VB Audio Virtual uh, Cable. So that's good. Once you have your cable input, we're going to go back into Paddleboard. So let's load up Paddleboard. We're going to go back into this output settings right here, and we're going to choose the cable input. So what essentially this is saying is take this input and reroute it to this output, which is our cable input. So now in every application that we're going to use audio, for example, I'm using OBS right now to record this audio. Uh, it's going to, I'm not going to select my microphone anymore. I'm going to select this cable input. So that's simply what it does. Uh, also, I had to choose direct sound here for, for mine to work. So you might have to do the same thing. So uh, once that's configured, you close out of there. So now uh, that's very basic. Uh, without anything installed, you can still add some, uh, you know, you can still add a level. You can see here. So uh, it doesn't do anything yet. So I can go like this up and down. You will not see my um, mic audio change because it's not connected yet. So we need to connect them. So connect, drag one, two. And then you have to drag it to the output. So it sends to the, remember I said you'll send to the uh, virtual cable 
to the application. So I have that virtual cable select my application right now. And you can see my audio problem increase. So I got to bring it down lower so it doesn't get crackly and stuff. Uh, but you'll be able to see a difference as I move this. All right. So that's that. So the other software you want to go ahead and download, you want to search for this software right here. So search for uh, TLS um, Pocket Limiter. And you know, just do a Google search for TLS Free Pocket Limiter Download. Uh, this website is going to pop up. You click on it and you come over here. You download this VST. Uh, again, it's a right file. You extract it to your, I, I recommend you extract everything to where you install the pedal board. So this is what I have right now. Uh, if you see this DOL, that is the, uh, the file that you download. So that is called the VST, uh, virtual studio device, I think. So you install that. Then the next software you're going to download, you're going to go to digitalfishphones.com and you're going to download fish play so the fish bliss uh you're gonna come in here in the bottom download that you're gonna extract that to your pedal board to folder as well uh you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna extract over here so once you do that right you're gonna come in here in your pedal board you're gonna double click here you're gonna see these things will not show up at first uh you have to come over here choose plugin list and then once you plug in list, they're not going to show us an available plugin yet. You got to go into options, scan for new plugins. Make sure you have your where you installed pedal board listed. And by default, it's going to want to put in some other directory. I just change it for simplicity's sake to the same as the pedal board to folder. You can have it in some directory if you want. Uh, but I changed that and uh, make sure you're pointing to where you download those files. You click scan. And then it's going to, it's going to add all the DOLs as um, devices over here. So you can have the uh, TLS pocket limiter, fish, fish, uh, floor fish, block fish. So those are all the ones we downloaded. So now we, we can start adding them and you'll see how it changes the sound. Um, so I, I got these values from somebody else uh, on YouTube, uh, but uh, let me load up the, the configuration that I have uh, so you guys can see what the values are and uh, you'll be able to see the difference in my voice as well. So this voice is probably really crappy right now. Uh, actually, yes, yeah, because I can see it's crackling over there because of this uh, leveler and it's totally unconfigured because we're doing this on the fly. So let me load up my file, which I already configured. And we're going to do my audio setup. All right. So immediately you should see that my audio changed because now we're processing. Um, so pedal, pedal board is processing my audio through all of these filters. And you can see as I talk, there is a, you know, a meter here for, for our volume. I can still see it's a little bit too loud for some reason. So uh, I am going to lower this a little bit the gain. So this is this will be your gain. There's like several gains. So here are the settings that you might want to use as your your base and and starting uh, starting point. As you can see, I have a test uh, because I'm still adjusting with this. So for four fish, this is what I have. You click on soft. You adjust this dial here. This one all the way, and then the release and the attack and the frequency and also you have stereo mode that's for fish so i'm going to leave here this here on top for you guys then for black fish you click the little e over here as well and oh, hold on a second Let me get rid of the there you go and some reason it took out the other one which is right here okay so this is black fish so for blockfish, uh, we have this one to the max, this one in the middle, this one all the way down, this one here to the all the way to the plus sign. Um, none of these are checked. And that's it. So that's very easy right there. So now, pocket limiter. 
So this is the settings for pocket limiter. We have some gain at 2.5 and it's 100% for the, and we have turned on the IQ. So that's our pocket limiter uh, gain. Your level, you want to play around with it. You want to make sure you're not uh, clipping any sound. Uh, make sure, you know, it doesn't crackle or anything. You sound clear. Hopefully I'm sounding clear right now because that will be a really sucky demonstration. And here is how my voice sounds without each one of this. So I'm going to turn off Warfish. And this is how my voice sounds without it. Now I am going to turn this back on. And this is how it sounds with it. I'm going to turn off Blockfish. So this is my voice, how it sounds without it. I'm going to turn it back on again. Now it's with everything. I'm going to turn off the pocket limiter. So this is my voice. This is how my voice sounds without pocket limiter. I'm going to turn that back on again. So now I'm going to turn them all off. And now you should see that my audio is like the beginning of this uh, recording, which is, it's all right. It's not very clear though. So with this all turned on and should like improve at least in my opinion, a lot. So that's uh, essentially all the configuration you have to do. Once you have the setup, you just save it. Um, you can set it as, a, as your default, which I'm going to do now. Um, you don't have to set your source to the virtual cable. You can just go into Windows and say the virtual cable is your default uh, input, and then it will be used for everything. OBS, uh, you know, perhaps. Anything that, uh, you know, Skype, uh, anything that uses voice, Discord, etc., etc., And you'll be sounding much better. So hopefully uh, this works for you guys. And, um, you know, it helped some of you guys out there. Um, you know, a quick tip, like I said, these things will not load on 64-bit for me. It had to be um, the regular pedalboard 2. Uh, don't run the 64-bit because they might not load for you guys. Try it. I doubt it they will. They didn't for me. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.